What's up makers, April Dunham here. In this Template Tuesday video, I'm going to show you how you can export your Power Apps data right to Excel. This is all done with a PCF component built by Yash Agarwal. I'll walk you through how to install it and how it works, coming up. As I said in the intro, this great PCF component is built by Yash Argawal. Make sure you follow him on Twitter. I'll put a link to his GitHub repo so that you know where to go to download and install this. So to get started, you'll go to this GitHub link, you'll click on the code button and go to download zip. This is going to download his export to Excel PCF component onto your desktop. Once you do that, you'll extract that. And what we need is this zip file. So there's a managed and unmanaged version. So if you're just using this in dev, you can use the unmanaged. If you're using this in prod, you might want to use the managed version. But what we need to do, these are solution files. So we need to go into Power Apps and import this in as a solution. So to do that, you'll go to make.powerapps.com, click on the solutions tab, select import, browse, and select that export to Excel zip file. Then click open. Now just click next and then select import. I have already went through this. So that's why I'm seeing this message here. If it's your first time installing, you won't see that. Once you click import, that's gonna run through the setup process and you'll see a message at the top that is currently importing solution. When it's done, that'll turn to a green success message. You'll know it's done when you see the solution show up here at the top of the screen. Now that I have that solution added into my environment, now I can use it in my applications. You do need to make sure since this particular component is a code component, that you have code components enabled in your environment. To do that, you'll go to admin.powerplatform.com, select the environment from the list that you want to use code components in, go to settings, expand out the product section, and go to features. Here you'll see a toggle under Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas Apps, and you'll want to toggle this to on to allow publishing of Canvas apps with code components. Once that's enabled, you're allowed to use this inside your applications. Now to test this out, I'm going to go into a Power App that I already have created. And now let's walk through how we can import this particular component in our app to use. To do that, we'll select this components tab, then select the dots next to this new component button and choose import components. Now this is a code component, so we need to select the code tab here and all of our code components for this environment will show up here. The one we want is the one we just uploaded Excel export. We'll click on that, then click import. Once you do that, now we'll click on our screens tab again. And if you want to use this in one of your screens, you'll select the screen, then click the plus button on the left so that we can see all of our controls and you'll see a section for code components. And now we have that Excel export component. So to use this, all we have to do is expand out the code components section and select that Excel export component we just imported. You see all this particular component is, is a button. Now this should look pretty familiar if you watched my previous Template Tuesday video on printing from Power Apps using a PCF component. That was also a solution of Yash's, which I demoed, and I have that component on this screen as well. But really these two components are pretty much exactly the same in structure. The only difference is one is going to print to a PDF, and the other is going to export your data to Excel. So I have my button on here. Now, if I click on that component on my screen, the only property that I need to fill out here, if we look at our properties dropdown, is this data to export. And this property is similar again to that print component. We need to pass it in JSON of the tabular data that we want to export to Excel. So in the use case I'm showing here, I have a gallery of information and I'd want to export what we're seeing here to Excel. So I might come in here and filter this info. And so whatever information that I have, I want to export. Now to get this data into that JSON format that this particular control expects, we can use a function called concat. Concat is going to allow us to loop through a collection of items, which in this case is our gallery called gallery timesheets. And we're going to get all items by doing a dot all items. Then we're going to take the data and format that as JSON. If you need a quick primer on JSON, check out my other video on the print component. I explain that in a little bit more detail, but essentially we're just going to wrap the data in curly brackets and then we're going to pass it in a header. So that would be the column header that would show in the Excel spreadsheet. We're going to do a colon 
and then we're going to pass in the value for that particular header. And we're just going to repeat that, separating out these column headers and their values with commas. We're also using a concatenate because we need to take this and wrap that within square brackets. And then above, we're doing a substitute to replace some information in the JSON so that it's formatted correctly. So like I said, the print and the Excel are the same. So what I'm gonna do is copy this formula from my print button and paste that into my export to Excel components data to export property. All right, now let's test this out. I click the export to Excel button. You see it immediately produces an Excel file. Now, if I open that, I can see all of my data from the gallery in Excel. I wanted to make sure to highlight this particular component because I have been asked by several of my subscribers, how can we export to Excel within our Power App directly like we would say in our SharePoint list. So if you don't wanna to have to go out to your SharePoint list to export the data and you want everything to be done in the Power App, we now have that power thanks to this PCF component built by Yash. That's really all there is to it. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I wanna know what you think of these component type videos where I share different components and how you can use those in your apps for my Template Tuesday series. If you like it, let me know, drop a note in the comments. And of course, if you have any feedback for other videos you'd like to see or concepts covered, let me know as well in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.